We are in the Department of Modern Languages, Literatures and Linguistics at the University of Oklahoma. My name is Pamela Genova. I'm chair of the department and I'm a professor of French. I've been here for several years and I'd like to say that this is an absolutely fantastic place to work. Uh, we are the largest department in the College of Arts and Sciences. We have more than 50 faculty and nearly 80 uh, GTAs and instructors. We have 10 languages plus linguistics. We teach French, German, Spanish, Italian, Japanese, Chinese, Arabic, Hebrew, Portuguese, Russian, and then we have linguistics. We have more than 6,000 students every semester who take our classes. Um, we have graduate programs in three languages, French, German, and Spanish. So we're pretty big. I think the thing I like the most is actually that we're actually learning a lot because like in some classes before, um, I just memorized the vocab and I just like took the test. The best part of class is just engaging and interacting with other students every day. We learn about each other on a day-to-day -day basis. The class is really funny. We all get along really well and I, I study with a lot of them and so it's really good. And it's a, it's a small class so you know it's, we're all like learning together. Our language that we're born with allows us certain forms of expression. Um, imagination. It allows us to do critical thinking, analytical thinking, but when you learn a second language it's like discovering a new star, a new science, uh, a new kind of music even. You hear things differently, you perceive things differently, and not only does it give you a sense of opening your own horizons, but it gives you a sense of a mirror back. You see things in other cultures you may never have expected to find that are very close to your own, so it's a way to understand yourself, uh, as well as understanding the rest of the world. It's obvious that you have to be able to communicate well these days with different people and I think by learning languages you understand how people think. I think it opens your mind up to the rest of the world and uh, it's a different way of thinking too when you uh, try to learn through a different culture than just the culture that you were raised in. We have a number of smart classrooms of course in the in the building and working with the Language Learning Center all the opportunities there with the satellites and everything else some of the, the kind of the cool things that are available to students at the OU um, Language Lab are things like the uh, live satellite TV program. We've got that in 10 different languages. Um, we've got 19 different channels that are currently showing, and those are showing both in the lab and also throughout Kaufman Hall. Uh, so those are available uh, whenever the lab is open and whenever students are in class. Uh, we've got an extensive film library of over 2,000 titles in 10 different languages. So that's a great resource for students, a good way to kind of polish their, their skills, uh, improve their listening comprehension, and also absorb some of the cultural elements uh, from the, the language that they're studying here at OU. Uh, the staff is a highlight in my opinion. We have a really talented student staff. They're extremely helpful. Uh, they're always available to help students, faculty, instructors, anybody that comes by the lab. It's a, it's a, a fully featured computer lab. Right, so we've got a lot of technology available to students. At each student computer workstation, uh, you're going to find resources for all 10 languages, including interactive software. Um, some of the software uh, is associated with textbooks and curriculum materials. Some of it is uh, for private study, self-study. Um, at each computer as well, we have uh, headsets and microphones so students can both listen to and record audio for their classes. We want to impart to our students how important it is to understand that the world doesn't stop with the borders of this state, uh, of this country, uh, and of this language. So we try to give a sense of culture, history, and linguistic awareness. I believe it's very important to be a cultured person and be able to communicate with people outside of the U.S. Part of my class is actually getting to research history and the culture of the Spanish language. That's what I like the most about it. So the world is really getting small. If uh, we want to get along well, we want to uh, work together toward the peace of the world, of course we have to understand each other. To understand each other without knowing each other's language will be very difficult. In high school, it was more just English and then knowing vocabulary for French. And now in college, we're only talking in French and you're really immersing yourself into the language. We, we come in all shapes and sizes, uh, all, all different kinds of personalities. We have, uh, again, with 50 people on the faculty, it's, it's, it's crazy, it's wonderful. I thought the Spanish classes here were really good. The professors were always very like extroverted and always tried to get you involved in everything like that. My professor, um, 
for a Spanish conversation was really fun, and we got to uh, do a Spanish soap opera, and that was a blast. We've actually had some skits that have been really funny. We kind of put on little like Saturday Night Live skits in Spanish, oh, as like little improv things. That kind of yeah, they kind of they're, they're pretty fun. We also have really good faculty. Uh, this, at this point, we have so many faculty who are growing so visible in their fields. Not only are they in their own careers becoming well, well known, um, but they're attracting wonderful graduate students to come work with them. Even if you just look since 2005, we've had uh, 17 books published uh, by our faculty. Yeah, In 2008 alone, 20 articles and eight books. We have faculty awards across the board. Um, the, their funding has expanded, both for them and for our graduate students. Uh, their teaching, uh, unbelievably um, innovative, interesting. The Spanish class, I had first like a Spanish guy, like very funny, it was so cool. He was always speaking, and he was like telling us about stories. It happened to him in Spain. Senor Chagueros Ramos, he's really entertaining. He's really fun to listen to. He brings active examples that we can enjoy in class. I try to establish a very nice and comfortable teaching environment in which the students feel comfortable to ask questions about things that they don't understand. I think that we, the students have to be able to express their doubts, their concerns. If they don't understand something that you are trying to explain, they should feel comfortable to say, OK, Ana Paula, I don't understand this. Would you explain again? And that's what I try to do in class. Anything one could imagine trying to do in one's own language, take that somewhere else with a second language, the opportunities are unbelievable. I'm trying to get my Spanish minor now, and someday uh, I hope to be a doctor, and I'm sure that's going to, you know, knowing a second language is going to help me in the medical field. If all goes well and I continue in the astrophysics field, Japanese research is you know, quite developed, mm -hmm. you know, in accordance with ours, and you know, having those communication skills available means I'm more readily available to to go into a Japanese market with my skills. Well, I'm uh, planning on being fluent in Chinese once I graduate, and so I'm going to go my my uh, take that with my international business degree, and and probably go do business in China. Well, I think that studying a, another language is a great opportunity to. Um, know the world from a different perspective, to understand that the way you see things is not the way everyone else sees things. And so it's, it's a great opportunity to see a, a new different perspective of life. To study language can bring distant hearts closer.